Hey guys, what's up? It's Anna Louise and today's video is going to be a kind of a fun little video just about pets that I want and am getting slash hopefully getting in the future. I just felt like this would be a really good video just to talk to you guys and let you guys know about things that will be coming up and things that I want to be happening coming up and just things that basically you guys can look forward to as well as in new pets on my channel, new pet areas and rooms just i mean th there's a lot of things and i really don't want to give it away but a lot of things are going to be happening in the future and one thing is a list of pets that i really want and am researching right now and i felt like it would be a really good idea to sit down and just do a video about pets that i really really want and ones that i plan on getting in the future and i thought that it'd be fun to, for you guys to give me advice on these pets because i am currently researching them and the first two pets that i'm actually going to talk to you about are the two pets that i'm definitely getting somewhat soon um and i'm doing my research on them and i would love to hear just tips and whatever kind of you know things that you have to say about them like what kind of food do you guys use you know favorite toys just tips and tricks and stuff like that so without further ado let's go ahead and get right in to today's video all right guys so as many of you know but maybe some of you don't i'm getting married i'm getting married in august and so when i do get married i will be getting a house and i will be out of my house right now and so there that kind of just like gives a little bit more of an ample opportunity for certain pets that i want that i can have there that i can't have here and the very first one that i'm going to be talking to you about today is my dog so i want my own personal dog i wanted one for years and years and as a child my mom always said that her parents said this to her as well that when you move out and get your own house you can have you can have a dog but until then no so we do have a family dog but it is obviously not my own and i really want a big dog i've been very accustomed to having small dogs and things like that but i really want a big dog and i've been wanting a dog for the longest to help with my um my stress and emotional issues and just the things that i'm going through because of my health and things like that and it, it's really important to me to do that and to choose a breed that is going to be the best for me and fit my needs and things like that so i've done a lot of research and just talking to different people and through things that i've just researched and read and talked to people about i do believe that the german shepherd is the breed for me and that's the kind of dog that i really want to go after I think they're very smart and intelligent. Obviously, they are, you know, police dogs. They're, they're military dogs. They're just, they're very, very loyal and smart. And I feel like that a lot of people who have told me that they have had German Shepherds or that they have German Shepherds, that they are amazing dogs and that they are very easy to learn and things like that. So that is definitely the first animal that I want and I'm wanting to get it after I basically get settled into my house, maybe around my birthday because I do turn 22 in September. So I was thinking around that time would be the best time, but I do have to look for breeders and obviously I want to look for a good breeder, a reputable breeder, one that is, you know, not just a backyard breeder. Yeah, I've said breeder a lot, <laughs> but it is true. That is very important. So I'm trying to definitely go about this the right way. But a German Shepherd is one that I really want. I know that a lot of people are going to say, go to the pound, adopt, you know, all that kind of stuff. I want to raise a puppy is what I want to do. This is my journey. This is what I want. And for my first dog that I get, I want to get it from a reputable breeder, try to train it, and, you know, from a puppy up, I want the German Shepherd that I feel like, you know, will be, it, I, th I just think it'll be good for me, and I really don't think that it, I have, that I need to explain this. One day though, yes, I want to adopt from a shelter. That is something that I wanna do whenever I get my second dog. That's no time in the future though, like no time in the near future. But one day, yes, I do want to do that. But I also want the experience of raising a puppy for myself. And that is the breed that I do want. And so I want to be able to go to a reputable, I want to be able to go to a reputable breeder for that. So anyway, that is the first pet that I want. Let me know down below, what are your favorite dog foods? What are things that you like to give your dog as treats? What's your dog's favorite toys? Just let me know some tips and tricks, especially if you had, to, if you have a German Shepherd, let me know some things, insight. <laughs> okay, and so the second pet that I definitely, definitely want 
that I will get in the somewhat near future, but not anytime super soon, are bunny rabbits. Uh, I just have an absolute love for bunnies, and I always have, honestly. They're always something that I've loved, but ever since back last September, when I went to my very first exotic pet expo, I just saw so many bunnies there, and I petted them, and I got to like mess around with them and talk to the breeders and stuff like that and i just thought they were so precious and so adorable and it was on the like the back burner in my mind that one day i really wanted to own a pair and it was just something that i was thinking about but then as time went on i went to also another expo i got to see them so soft and cuddly and cute and sweet and i'm a sucker for a furry animal i'm a very much i'm a very much a big lover of the small animals and furry animals i love my scaly animals too but anyway and it was just it was more in my mind like oh i really really want bunnies but i knew it wasn't possible at the house that i'm at now after that i've got to see more people with bunnies and just get to see their feeds of stuff that they post about them and just different stuff like that and that made me start to research them and then kendall ray on youtube had bunnies and I've got to watch them grow up and they are so precious and cute and I just really feel like that will be a pet that I would absolutely love and I feel like that's a next step for me but it will be a while it won't be till probably around Christmas time if that so it's definitely a pet that I do want so the third pet that I want but I don't know which one I want to get is a frog so I don't know I'm between two I'm between Pac-Man frog and chubby frog I love them both they're very cute but do I want both? I don't think so. I think I want one or the other. One thing that I do love about Pac-Man frogs that really draw me to them is the color. I think that the colors of Pac-Man frogs are so pretty. You get a nice variety. Whereas chubby frogs, they look pretty much the same. Um, I do love that chubby frogs look very derpy. They look hilariously derpy and sweetishly cute. And they are active, which is good. Pac-Man frogs obviously just sit. I've done a lot of research about both of them. And I do know, especially from talking to friends who own them as well, that Pac-Man frogs, I mean, you know, they just sit there. I mean, and that's fine. <laughs> but I just don't know. There's like pros and cons of both. But a frog is something that I would just absolutely love. I've always liked frogs. I think that they're very cute and interesting pets. I've always thought that they were neat and I really love those two in particular frogs. And I do love a lot of the smaller species of frogs as well, but I still think right now that a Pac-Man frog or a chubby frog is the one for me. The other thing I will mention is a lot of chubby frogs are wild caught. So like, uh, I don't know, like I need to find somebody, you know, who breeds them, but we'll see. But that is the third pet that I definitely want and will hopefully get in the future. Alrighty, and for the last pet that is definitely on my radar to get um, in the future, not saying that I won't want others, but these are just the ones that's really been on my mind, is an Arizona blonde tarantula. And I'm sure a lot of you are like, ew, ew, which I would be like, you too but I will say wanting to hold a tarantula has been on my bucket list that I don't even have like that's the only thing on my bucket list <laughs> for a long time I really wanted to get over my fear because I'm very scared of spiders it's just it's just something and to this day I'm still scared of small ones and I just am um, but big tarantulas do not scare me and I came over my fear in my very first expo I actually got to hold one and it was so soft like seriously so soft i loved her i literally fell in love with her immediately it was a female she was about five to seven years old they weren't for sure but in that range she was an arizona blonde and i loved her and i literally was like if i had a tarantula i would name her jolene and i just i don't know it stuck with me and ever since then that one spider has resonated with my soul she's jolene we are sisters we are connected at the soul and yeah <laughs> ever since then though for real i got over my fear and it's just something that i enjoyed and it's kind of like a symbolism for me and i'm very proud of myself and i do believe that they are also very interesting pets obviously you can't get them out and play with them a lot but they are very interesting pets to just observe and to be able to get over that fear and really enjoy them for what they are i think that that's really awesome and i like i said would really love to own one one day All right guys, it's time for fan mail and I'm super excited. Let me just go ahead and like cover up the address, but this is from Janice Click. So thank you Janice. I am literally so excited to open this. It took 
me literally it took it all that I could do not to open it on the ride home because I was so excited um but yeah let's go ahead and get right in because I'm anxious let's see what it is in here okay so the first thing that I got let me open this really fast <laughs> it says um to not watch so we have a DVD that says not to watch and then on the front on the front it says all right so i opened it and on the back there's a picture i'm just gonna go ahead and show you i feel like i'm literally reading to a class it says janice dot click presents joshua the small comic follows a young boy his special gift janice click is run by creator and founder stephen rustek rustek believes in making content that is out of the ordinary something that breaks the mold whether it is vhs films or comic books rustek's main goal is to leave the viewer thinking about the content and questioning the norm Sorry if I said that wrong, the name. But this right here is the comic, y'all. So that's pretty cool. I'll go ahead and show you guys. So first of all, it says this book is cursed. So I guess I'm cursed now. And I guess you guys are too if you're watching. So, tea. <laughs> so this is Basement in a House, now available on VHS. Go to www.janice.click to order your copy now. And I'm not gonna sit here and like spend the time to like read through it, but like, it's super cute. I love creativity. Creativity is always wonderful. So that was just like a little book. So that was a super cute. And like I said, I absolutely love being creative and I love how others are creative. And I think that is honestly an awesome idea. So thanks for sending that out. And I, I, I won't watch the DVD. <laughs> So yeah, that is it for this little video. I really hope you enjoyed it. I know it was just kind of a sit down talking kind of video, but I thought it'd be really fun to update you guys on pets that I really want in the future, ones I'm definitely getting, ones I hope I'm getting, and stuff like that. So like I said, let me know down below if you own any of these animals and tips or tricks that you think that I would benefit from knowing. And other than that, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and I do have merch out. I will leave the website right here in case you want to check it out. I also have a PO box. I open absolutely everything that I get on camera and it's always a lot of fun so here's the address to that right here and other than that please make sure to subscribe which you can do by hitting my face right up here and you can watch another one of my videos by clicking right over here and it would mean the world to me if you guys would do so and I hope you guys have a great day or night or whenever you may be watching this and I will see you guys in my next video